What's up guys, TJ here. Today is my first day split boarding. I'm out of Berthoud Pass, super stoked. Couldn't ask for better conditions. It's pretty amazing out here. <laughs> We're just at the bottom of our loop right now. Gonna send it up the hill and do some touring and try to get some nice pow laps in. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about my Volet Universal split board bindings. Uh, it's my first day on them and I'm just gonna let you guys know what I think on my first impressions uh, on those bindings and just split boarding in general. Colorado Avalanche Info Center says it's a super low avalanche risk today. It's the most safe rating that they give. Also this late in the season, the snow is nice and fused up and pretty safe. Uh, but we do all have our beacons, shovels and probes just in case. Oh my gosh, it's sick out here, guys. We're almost at the top. I think we might be turning around right now. I'm out riding with uh, my buddies, Jordan and Cam today. And uh, looks like we're gonna get some good turns. I think we're gonna hit a line right up there somewhere. Maybe over there. Or maybe that chute right there. Hey, buddy. Hey. V lie. I thought this was gonna be the hardest part, transitioning from split to snowboard mode. But I guess with the lubrication from the snow, that binding just slid right on and it was super easy. And that, uh, and that pin, which a lot of people complain about, wasn't really a big deal, so I'm stoked. Super easy. When I get signed, I'll be a black on one right back on when I get signed, I'll be a take a few MCs. Sorry if the audio quality dropped guys. The input jack for my external mic. So I hope you guys can hear me okay. What's up Jordan? So we just got to the top for our first lap. Uh, just kind of getting all the gear ready. Got my split converted back to snowboard mode. And uh, just kind of discussing our lines. The two lines I showed you earlier, the first one is over there. Second guy is kind of ahead of us over there. The bindings felt pretty good on the way up. Uh, I'm running the Volley Universal split board binding just with my regular Union bindings you guys see in all the review videos. I'm also on the Jones Explorer split board and I have uh, Spark R&D skins. So uh, they felt really comfortable on the way up. Nice long strides. Overall, it's been an awesome experience so far. I'm super happy with the Volley Universal kit. The transition was super mellow. Putting in that pin was no big deal. Sliding the bindings on was nice and smooth. So I'm really happy so far. Uh, really the only difference uh, I'm seeing is that you're elevated just a little bit over the board, um, which isn't really that big of a deal. So, so far it's been pretty, pretty sweet. Ooh. All right, we're at the top of the first line and uh, a little scared, but look how good this looks. All right, let's do it. It's all good. All right, here comes Cam. Woo! Oh, yeah! 
Dude, that was insane. Bottomless. Jordan's about to drop. He's taking a different route than we did. Dude. <laughs> All right, it's still pretty early in the day. We're gonna head back down to that cabin and go up for one more lap. Did we get clipped out? This is that cliff we hiked under. Oh! guys we're going up for round two We've got some snow coming down but uh temperature stayed nice and cool all day so it should still be nice and safe uh we probably won't go up as high this time but uh trying to get some more of those bottomless turns in that was epic i feel like you can get some really nice long strides with these bindings so that's pretty awesome that's been helping keep up with my skier friends taking some long strides, keeping a good pace. One thing though, when I was setting these guys up today, I don't have my right binding perfectly at zero on the volet slider. So I'm about uh, three degrees angled forward. So I'm not perfectly at the stance I set my pucks at. But yeah, other than that, it's been really good out here today. Super stoked on the experience. Transition time has been really short. I feel like it's harder to get into touring mode than into snowboard mode uh, when you're sliding that pin through, but it's really not that big of a deal either way. I wouldn't say it took me more than three or four minutes um, either way. So I think these bindings are pretty sweet. If you're looking to get out in the back country, I'd highly recommend them. 160 bucks, brand new MSRP. So it's a lot more affordable than binding a three or $400 or more split board binding. All right, I'm gonna keep going. We'll get one more lap in and then head back to the car and get back to Denver at a reasonable time. guys it's uh, about 38 degrees uh, wind loaded slope underneath this cliff band so we're just gonna traverse it one by one and try to reduce the load on this face here and uh, get across it safely we found the spot so good oh, yeah. pretty excited much better than anticipated Look at this. All right. Dropping TJ. Hip a hip and let it rip. Uh, all right. Oh my God. to the truck. I'm gonna follow Cam.
Oh my god guys, that was so much better than expected. The standard has been set for split boarding. So good. Hey buddy. Hey. Definitely gonna be doing a lot more of this this spring, especially if the snow keeps up like this. Um, one last thing on those bindings. That second time, it took me a lot longer to transition because I didn't realize my binding wasn't slid all the way forward. So when you are transitioning on these guys, make sure that it's all the way forward or you might waste a bunch of time trying when it's not gonna fit. Awesome guys, it's been an epic day out here. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions for me, leave it in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram, at Board Archive. If you wanna check out these bindings and my gear in a little more detail, we got a link in the description for you. And keep having fun out there, guys. I hope some of you are still snowboarding. Still pretty epic out here in Colorado. I'm gonna try to keep this going, and I'll see you guys next time.